The season of giving continues here at 13 Action News. Our goal is to change lives for the better. We asked you to nominate people who are deserving of some recognition this holiday season. And so that is why for 13 days this month, we are surprising people as part of our 13 days and nights of giving. And tonight, Jackie Kosick now introduces you to a local woman who you may recognize from her story yesterday. She helps veterans across the valley. Hi, pretty. For Milo Leonard, these are the moments that make it all worth it. New friend for you, Carrie. Oh, wow. There you go. Say hi. Coco, <laughs> say hi. Go say hi. Her Coco. name's Coco. Coco? Oh, you're going to change my life, girl. A certified dog trainer, Mila has been training dogs for veterans for the past 10 years. In 2012, she founded RWB Dog Tags, a nonprofit that pairs wounded warriors with service dogs. The dogs are rescued, and she says many times the veterans are too. The big thing is, is that they have someone that gives them unconditional love, because when you're going through something and people don't get it, and not having someone get it is, is a real deal breaker, you know, mentally. I want to steal your mom's brush and brush her hair. You have a dog that's going to give you unconditional love, doesn't care what you're going through, um, and you know that something's living, waiting for you, that's expecting for you to come home or expecting you to wake up in the morning. Myla says with her organization, it's not just about creating lifetime bonds between veterans and their dogs. It's also about creating opportunities for veterans to connect with each other. You see these same vets that didn't even want to come out of the house the year before, and they're not only doing that, but they're talking to new vets that we're bringing into the program. They're like, hey, bro, I was there a year ago. Don't worry about it, this, that, you know, and they become like that peer support. Peer support, something Kerry says he's lacked since returning to civilian life in 2005. I no longer have a social life. I won't have any friends that I hold close and fear of losing them. I'm going to treatment. working on it. Although the service dogs are provided to the veterans free of cost, keeping the nonprofit up and running has always been a challenge for Mila. When I first started doing this, I was working two jobs. So, and that's how I paid for like the gear and the food and everything and we would get donations. So I learned how to work on a budget. Mila says at times she sold her own belongings to keep the organization afloat. She's determined though to keep providing the service to veterans. That's why her friend Sue nominated her for our 13 days and nights of giving. The surprise of course was uh, was for Carrie and not, uh, Mila had nominated him. But you were also nominated by Sue. What? And so <laughs> that is why we wanted to make this possible, not just for Carrie and Mila and Coco, but for you as well, because you do so many incredible things for these veterans and these dogs <clears> too <throat> that you rescue, train, and provide these amazing connection opportunities for them. Um, so we're going to help you as well. Oh, wow. Um, we understand that your truck is down right now. We yeah. want to help you make sure that that is up and oh, running. Oh, my God. Uh, what? And we want to make sure that you are able to continue providing these opportunities for veterans. Thank you for doing what you guys do so we can make this happen for him and Coco. Yeah. That is truly special and amazing. Yeah, that was a great, great twist by, by yeah. Jackie and the crew. I yeah, like excellent. that. <clears throat> well, the recipients have been invited to an event in their honor hosted by the Vegas Golden Knights Foundation where they will receive their gifts. And 13 Days and Nights of Giving is all sponsored by the Vegas Golden Knights Foundation, Subaru of Las Vegas, and America First Credit Union.